All right, everyone. We are here with a very special guest. We have the wonderful and hilarious Lisa Ann Walter here oh. in studio, which is amazing. Um, we're super excited. We are massive fans of you and Abbott Elementary Thank is you. one of my favorites. It's become my ultimate like comfort show. Yeah, which we need. Yeah, a lot of people say hi. How are you? Yes. Are Hello. you talking to? <laughs> yes. Oh, wanna, yes. Um, both hi to of both us. of you. I think you're you're both my paisans. So. Yeah, yeah. Hi to yes. sisters. <laughs> Bam. Um, I, people say that a lot, and it makes me feel really good because my daughter, when she was a kid, she would have trouble falling asleep, and she would put on her comfort movies, which, by the way, none of mine ever. Yeah. <laughs> Never one of something I'm in, but she would put on like Jerry Maguire or the old Grease musical yeah. with, you know, John Travolta. And that made her feel good and made her feel safe and she would go to sleep. And now I hear people are doing that with, I, all throughout the years I used to hear The Parent Trap, yeah. but now I hear Abbott Elementary, like people just watch it because it feels like, they feel like they're family with us. They yes. feel like we're part of them and they're part of us and right. it just feels good. I think for us, it's definitely both Abbott Elementary yeah. and The Parent Trap. Yeah, like, yes, you know, always. if you're going to sleep and you throw on a movie, you're like, The Parent Trap always plays. I, yeah. think, I, I think I can quote the entirety of The Parent Trap. Which, by I, the yeah. way, I have to bring this up. Yeah. Um, do people call you Jesse instead of Chessy? Yeah. A hundred percent that was a thing Thank where God. people were like, my whole life has been a lie. Yes. Like I had no she, she idea. She went through that at me. Well, she went yeah. through that about a year well, ago. Yeah. Think about it. First of all, what the hell kind of name is Chessy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the other thing is if you don't see it written, yeah. you know, this is before we everybody was on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. So you would hear it and you're on the movie it sounds like Jesse. Yeah. So why would you think it was anything else? Apparently it was short for Francesca. Which was a Chessy was the nickname of a designer friend of Nancy Myers. Yeah. So that's where it came from. Did you try to make Chessy happen? Her name is Francesca. I'm Francesca. I am a Francesca. Um, I think I might have. Well, there was my phase in a phase in middle school. I went through like Cheska. Yeah. Che like and yeah. so yes. Yeah. But nobody but, ever said Chess. No. Chess. Really? No. Chess. What did they call? So they called you Fran. I I became Fran. Yeah. You know, I wanted to name my daughter Francesca. For real, honest yeah. God, uh, that was the name I had picked out from the time I was little. Yeah, like when you play a game where you're like, "What are you gonna be when you grow up? Yeah, yeah. What kind of house? What kind of car are you gonna live in? What are your kids' names? Yeah. Francesca." And then I married a dude whose last name was Bomb. I'm like, <laughs> not Francesca, Francesca Bomb. Bomb. Francesca just Bomb. It's just yeah, reaching. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was. We were so young at the time when we had our first that he was just coming up with joke names. Yeah. Like, if we have a son, we should name him Adam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Franny Bomb is kind of fun though. Franny, yeah, yeah Franny that, Bomb. That's yeah. just like you sound you know like an old yeah, Jewish yeah, grandma yeah, yeah. in <laughs> Miami. You know you're she's just... gonna be a good time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Franny Bomb. That yeah. Franny Bomb. She plays yeah. Mahjong. Franny yeah. Bomb's she's coming incredible. Over. <laughs> she makes a kugel. I want to uh, tell you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that is very funny. I know she she had a I moment where revelation. we were recording and she was like, "Did you know that People her name believe. is and Chessie? did you know about did you know the little parent trap secret about my twins?" No. I have identical twins. Oh, wait, maybe. Born on the October same 10th? birthday, October 11th. October 11th. The birthday of the wow. twins of the Baron Trap. It's foreshadowing. Isn't that weird? That is, that is weird. No, they came three years after. Yeah. They came, When were they born? We did the movie in 97. We got the 25th anniversary coming up this year. Yeah. And the twins were born three years later. Wow. Yeah. That weird. is that is that weird. Is that yeah. is really weird. They they, they put a, a hex on me. I yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, Abbott Elementary, um, you know, we're in the second season, and I will say, I feel like there's just there's so much drama and darkness on TV. So a lot of times, yeah. like all the craziness. So like I'll watch, you know, whether you're oh, you're watching like that episode of The Last of Us or something, and you're like, it's like the zombie ap ap apocalypse. I, yeah. And you're it's, like, it's rough. And you're like. Ah, one Abbott Elementary before I go to bed. Like yes. that's that's what's yes. so great about it. And um, my my family, my dad's whole side are all South Jersey, big Philadelphia fans. Yeah. So like Melissa Schmenti is it's your people per, is my people. <laughs> yes. Like it's so perfect. I was just joking with my sister last night. I was like, I feel like she's gonna come in, and I'm gonna want to be like, so what do you think about the Eagles next season? I'm like totally thinking go, it's go the Eagles. real person. Go Eagles. <laughs> you know, um, you know, every time I go, it's like, well, you know, hon. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I go right in, <laughs> yeah. into the character. Right into it. As people, the best compliment I get is people like you're talking yeah. about family. They're like. Oh, she's from, you know, she's yeah. from there. You know, yeah, she's, yeah. 
And I'm I'm not. It's <laughs> it's acting. Yeah. But I work really hard at it yeah. because I know how important it is for people from a a really proud you know area neighborhood that you get it right yeah and my people are sicilian that's not made up yeah. so yeah. you know when when you see stuff and I'll, I'll get people like text or tweet to me stuff like you know she said coolie yeah. nobody <laughs> ever says coolie i and always like, say coolie because that's what because cool, yeah, 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 yeah. it's cool i have my boyfriend oh, yeah. saying it now too he's like yeah like just as a joke like oh i'm like oh you just grab my coolie yeah <laughs> and you know what people are like oh you can't say that i'm like it means but yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just cool my mother used to say coolie coolie coolets yes. uh, yeah. and then they should go to bite it but um they, they had it written as in one of the scripts they had coolo you know, and I think, and they were trying, yeah, because they were yeah. like, they probably looked it up. Yeah. Oh, Italian, cool. I was like, no, we say yeah. coolie because <laughs> Sic- I'm Sicilian, and yeah. Sicilian has Paisan. like a uh, yeah, Paisan. exactly. They have a slang, so my yeah. mom speaks fluent Sicilian, yeah, it's but not it's the same. It doesn't sound like Italian. Then Italian, yeah, they don't say, and people don't understand. They say they are like, oh, well, it's Italian. You say this, and they had one of the characters that came in the girl who plays my sister. They had it written in Italian, mm-hmm. and I I said. Yeah, it's not, that has to be Sicilian. Yeah. Right. That's it's, not how you say different. it. You don't say bello, you say bedu. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's like a little rougher. It's the yeah. different dialects. Yeah, yeah. Different so dialect. I have a Sicilian saying tattooed on my back with my three cousins and my two siblings. Yeah. That my grandma used to say all the What'd time. What'd you say? Shadume, which is yeah. my breath. Yeah. But you, if you look it up, you're not. Ne- you're not gonna get. You're not gonna say. You're that. not yeah. gonna get what it means. No. So I'm like, nobody ever look this up because you're gonna think it says something totally different. But I yeah. she used to write it on all our cards and stuff. So yeah. like, I know that's what it meant, but it's so different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of that that is not, and it's not in the original script. But they don't mind when I throw it in. Like you know, yeah. I'll come into a scene and they'll be like, wait, 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 and I'm like, I spet. And they mm-hmm. and then they let me do it, you yeah, know. Yeah. I'm like instead of saying this guy, can I say this jabroni? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And like yeah. Right. Yeah, Where like, are you originally from? My parents are from New York. My mm. mom was from Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Mm. My dad was from the Bronx, and then they moved when he went to grad school. They were in Pennsylvania, and then we. I grew up in the D.C. area. I grew oh, up nice. right. Yeah, I grew up right outside of D.C. and then lived in D.C. proper and, and went wh- to college there too. And where are you now? California. California. Been in California for, jeez, almost 30 years, like 28 years. Wow. That's crazy. I know. And you like it. And I'm you're, only you're like 37. Yeah. So obviously. I don't even know how that. <laughs> I did the math I doesn't add up there. But, There's all right. the negative yeah, numbers yeah, yeah. here. Like. And you went there and you stayed there. So yeah, you I like the difference because it's so different than where you're No, it's from. not that. Really? I wouldn't be there. No. Mm-hmm. You could pay me to live there. Except you can, because that's why I'm there. Yeah, because of, yes. of work. Yeah. No, I'm I'm an East Coast girl, I think. Mm-hmm. And I mean, you know, there's great things about it. You can go to the mountains and ski, and in the same day, get in your car, drive two hours, you're at the beach, right? right? So there's good stuff, but there's crazy crap going yeah. on. You know, you got you know, wildfires and earthquakes and a lot of stuff that goes yeah. in droughts. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's uh, it's nutty. But I went out when I was. Um, I was doing stand up out of New York. I lived in Jersey. I just had a baby right after I moved here to be an actor. And I, that's what I did in DC, like in college. Yeah. And I acted off Broadway for a very brief period of time. Then I got knocked up. Yeah. And uh, that turned out to be something I did very well because I have four kids. My yeah. vagina's a clown. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. These are the jokes. So yeah. um, so I, I started doing stand up when my kid was like a year old. And I came in and I started working at the showcase clubs in Manhattan, like Catch a Rising Star and and Caroline's, which is just closed, yeah, and yeah. Uh, the it's Comic Strip, which is my home club. Hmm? Our poster is from, we did a show at Caroline's. Oh, you yeah. You can't see the bottom of it, but that's, yeah. and, and then it's sad because that's now it's gone. <laughs> I know, I know. And I just saw her, by the way, Caroline, that, you know, who started the club. And it, I mean, these were like all my home mm-hmm. clubs. Yeah. So, and then I traveled all around the country for like seven, eight years. And I got an off. There were hardly any female comics then. It's not like now. Right. Where at every, you know, sorority, the funniest girl is like, oh, she's the comic. And yeah. then she gets on stage and Everyone's does 15 comedian. minutes about blowjobs. And, you know, yeah. but she has a career. Yeah. But uh, I was the only one doing blowjob material in those days. Mm-hmm. But I was you also. got in there early. Exactly. Yeah, was, yeah head, of the, head of the rush. Yeah. But my, I was also a mom. And there were hardly mm-hmm. any moms doing stand. There were not a, a lot of women. Yeah. You know, there were not a lot of women that had a husband 
that was going to say, oh, yeah, it's fine if you go on the road with a bunch of creepy comics and club owners and everybody's trying to get in your pants. Yeah. yeah. Which they did. Yeah. It's not like now where that was against the rules. Right. I was going to say, I, I, I've heard stories. So the, the comics, they mingle. <laughs> well, I remember... I remember Sarah Silverman started when I had been doing it when I was like at the clubs about two, three years. She started. She came down very young. Like, mm-hmm. I don't even think she was college age. She yeah. was like 18 or 19. She came down from New Hampshire, where she's from. And and she started to get like as I went on the road, you know, there was a like gossip like that. She was sleeping with comics. And I remember a uh, catch out in Princeton. There was a location in Princeton and the bartender said to me yeah like so what so she's you know having some extracurricular fun who cares she said last time she was here oh you're gonna give me a hard time about it i'm a comic i hang out with comics who am i supposed to f yeah cocktail waitresses (laughs) like this is who i'm hanging out with right these are my friends makes sense yeah yeah sex positive (laughs) yeah Yeah, go ahead (laughs) did you do the comedy store comedy store was Yes, that's the first club I did when I went out to the West Coast. Mm-hmm. But then Laugh Factory became my home club. So everybody has a home club, yeah. right? So Laugh Factory became the one that if people want to see me, they knew I could, I they could find me there. Right. But now that I'm on a hit show, I would do the improv every once in a while. But now I do the improv a lot, probably the most of any of the clubs. And it, audiences are different depending on where you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah, each totally. comedy club back in the day, back in the old days. Your audience is too young to know about this club. But if you know Rodney Dangerfield, there was a club called Dangerfield's on the Upper East mm-hmm. Side. Yeah. I called it the dark place. Yeah. Because it was all dudes, it was all comics. They all sat in the back of the room with just evilness emanating mm-hmm. out of their soul. <laughs> like, you know, it was not it wasn't friendly. Warm and, and welcoming. Like, and yeah. the audience the audiences weren't smart. Right. Like if you wanted a smart audience, you'd go to the cellar. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You'd go, I mean, they were a little, you know, snappity snap hipster <laughs> yeah. woke, but you, you, you know, you could go, if you wanted a club from all over the country, you'd go to Caroline's because there was a lot of tourists. Yeah. yeah. So every club is different. Sense. Yeah. So the store, I don't know. I think you get a mix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Laugh Factory, you probably get the most people that are like, they just want to have a good time. They're not there right. to think. Because the comedy store, I feel like is all, is, is such an interesting place because it seemed different like it rooms was, too. I mean, there were different rooms yeah. and I, cause I watched the documentary about it and yeah. it just seemed like it was so hard and like a little snobby at times. And then you never really, it, you know, it could be, but it depend. Back in the day, this is my understanding of it, because, again, I played there, but then I came back to, that Mm -hmm. was just like when I was still touring. And then Mm -hmm. when I went out to star on TV shows, that was not my home club. But when I I went over there after a, I think, American Comedy Festival or whatever, American Comedy Awards, that's what it is, ACA. And Roseanne was there kind of holding court. And in those days, my show followed hers on the show that I started and created. Second show. First one was on Fox. This is the second one on ABC. And so my show followed hers and she was really nice to me. Like people are all like, oh, don't go talk to Roseanne. She's not, she's in a bad mood. I'm like, she's always in a bad, have you listened yeah, to her yeah. act? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's just I, her personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it didn't, it didn't scare me. And I went up and she was like, oh, you're great. Come here. And she was just very welcoming. So I know she's got a bum rap now and everything, yeah, but yeah. she was very supportive of female comics, very mm-hmm. supportive. So she was always telling me you should work at the store because yeah. Mitzi loves women yeah and loves female comics and it was true of all the clubs comedy stores where they promoted the most women to like headlining spots yeah right. what do you think new york or la is better for comics now new york new york yeah 100 percent. yeah i just i've been you know back doing stand-up again yeah and i mean i always did it i never stopped there are a couple years i stopped yeah. i was married to an asshole guy who was like Comedy's not very feminine. Yeah. Like I'm the funny one. I'm like mm. you had the balls oh, no. once. <laughs> yeah, one time to get yeah, up on you a get stage. Up, you get up there and see how you yeah, do. Yeah, let's yeah. Ch- tell some jokes, funny yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> never mind. Um, you know, we won't go down that road. It's done. You're like yeah. so. Tell us more about that. Well, all right. So I was married twice. The first guy, lovely Jewish man. Uh, turned out we had too much in common. He liked men. The, <laughs> thank you. The second one was a cheater, which is not technically a religion, but he practiced it like yeah, it yeah. was. So those are the jokes. Devout. Right. He was orthodox. That's yeah. what he was. Orthodox pee hound. So, oh um, so when I when I went back to doing stand-up, it was not like on the road because I was raising kids. I have four kids. 
that I know of. <laughs> My vagina is a clown car. Yeah. Why did you put Everybody's me in welcome. mode? Right? <laughs> exactly. I know, I know. Exactly. So, um, so I started doing it again now because I'm like, oh, I got time. I could develop an hour. Let me go out on the road because yeah. you can make dates and you're on a hit TV show. You People <laughs> give you a weekend, yeah. right? They, they know they're going to fill the club. So I was just down in um, in Maryland. You know, I went so far away from the point. I got to follow the breadcrumbs back. Hang on. <laughs> what were we talking about? I went fo- so far away, you guys. I know. New I, York, L.A. That's it. Yes, Thank you. Yes. God, she's good. Yes. Why New York is yes. better. <laughs> New York is better. So the guy who middled, a wonderful comic, Umar Khan, uh, look him up. He's very good, everyone. Yeah. But anyway, he's he's fantastic. And he said, you know, what do you think? Where would I go if I wanted to? And he's happy doing it in the D.C. area, in the DMV. But I said New York. Because L.A., it's incredibly hard to get a TV spot if you're not, I mean, to get a, a stand-up spot if you're, you're not, not on TV. TV. Yeah. yeah, really hard. Like, they want to put people on that are known. Right. So if you're working, uh, you know, that's the showcase rooms. There might be, like, an alternative day here and there. Even then, it's hard to get on at Largo unless you're, like, best friends with Patton Oswald or, you know, right. Sarah. Right. So, I mean, there's it's it's difficult to get spots. I think in New York, it's, first of all, it develops you. Yeah. It's really true. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. You They'll better be funny. Build They'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, they will let you know. They will let you know. They're not They're not there to mess around with their time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Make, make them laugh. Yeah. yeah. It's easier to get laughs around the country. And it's not like because they're dumb or anything like that. <laughs> it's just that they're grateful that. Yeah. Town, that comics that have really worked at the craft are coming to their town. They're just happy right. to be there. Yes, and in <laughs> right. New York. New York, you could go see a comedy show any night. You can go to any anywhere, day, anything, anywhere. Yeah. Any no- yeah. in any neighborhood. Yeah. You're like, I feel like having Thai food, a Swedish massage, yeah. and, yeah. you know, <laughs> Korean barbecue. Yeah. Like, in, you could get all three mm. yep. at, like, two in the morning. Yep. So we just, we're spoiled in New yeah, York. Yeah, exactly. So you've really enjoying, uh, have been enjoying doing stand-up again. Yeah, I love it. And I love it. How often are you? Standing ovations. It's been a minute yeah. since I got a standing ovation. How often are you working on your set? Because I find it so interesting. Like, I think what comedians do is impossible in yeah. some ways because, like you said, you're really, you're trying to make people laugh and you have to basically sit with your own thoughts and come up with a set yeah. and get up there and just see what happens. Well, I think, I think like, I don't know if every comic's like that. There are people that are real technicians, like, you know, Seinfeld and people that are all mm-hmm. into the words and, you know, figuring out the, you know, dropping this word, but adding this and then the tag works. Like, we all do a version of that. But for me, it was always the ideas came first. And the idea was just, sometimes I could think a bit in my head and from beginning to end, I knew what I was going to say. And I'd never gotten on stage and said any of it, but I knew I could get on stage, do the entire hunk beginning to end and how it would play yeah. and where it would get a laugh. And I was right because I, I thought it funny. Right. And I knew what was. But most of the stuff that I started off doing was stuff I had to say. I had to talk about it. Nobody else was talking about the stuff that I was like, mm-hmm. it has to be out there. It has to be said. And now it's even more of that because we're living in a complete can I say shit storm yes. or do you need to <laughs> yeah, you complete shit storm in this country yeah, yeah. for women in particular yeah for mm-hmm. anybody who's marginalized so there's a lot of stuff to say yeah. yeah yeah do you feel like you have to incorporate Abbott Elementary into your jokes now or do you try to separate the two you know what's funny is that I I actually was thinking because my audiences oftentimes have a lot of teachers I was just thinking recently ah, I got to write some material what was true that I started incorporating was that I learned from being active on social media that I have a really big lesbian following. <laughs> I'm a, I don't know whether it's Jesse, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. but I'm like a, I am a queer and yeah. lesbian poster girl and I Amazing. am here for it. Yeah. I'm 100% <laughs> yeah. down. I'm like, you know, listen, it's like the, uh, I went to college. Yeah. I'm not saying. <laughs> Did you um, watch Hacks? Yes, HBO. yes, I love tax. Love tax. The episode where she goes on yes. a lesbian cruise. Yeah, and I then think she I'd be a little is, bit smarter yeah, about it. Yeah, and then she it. pisses them off. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing that. But I, you know, they know I'm an ally, so I think yeah. it's. I think that's part of it. But um, there are things that you write towards because you know this is who's coming to see me. Yeah. But I also know that I get a lot of fans of Jesse right. or Jesse. Yeah, yeah, you know? personally, Jesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse, yeah. you know, come yeah. on, let's be real. And so what I 
figured out that I had to do was at the beginning, because there were enough shows where I saw these young, beautiful faces like yours, like kind of go, huh? like what? It's not Jesse. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't want to ruin anybody's childhood. Right, right, like, right. But, you know, <laughs> right. I have some kind of. I'd say I, I get kind of. I get blue. Yeah. So well, I tell them. Like, up, uh, I kind of warn I mean, them up front. Bob said. I was going to say the same thing. I was like, exactly say the same right. thing. He it's was just, Danny Tanner. Yeah. yeah. And then you see America's him on, favorite dad. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and then then he's then, talking about like you know yeah. the most filching. Yeah. Graphic stuff. Filching. I don't know what it's called. Then he's on Entourage. Yeah. And then we had him our show a couple of times. Oh, and God, the, the I shit, can't even he, imagine. The, he, like, tried to play, uh, like, the Danny Tanner role at first with us. Yeah. And then, like, the second time he came on, it was completely gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just amazing. So, no, we get that. But, the, I mean, I would imagine people want to talk to you about the show all the time because it is so great. And it's... I. Funny enough, like, one of my biggest questions about doing a show like Abbott is, like, you're working with so many kids. <laughs> Yeah. What, what and, is you know, that like and how actors, are they like? Yeah, like don't don't ever do a show with kids or yeah, dogs, right? Right, right yeah. <laughs> They're fantastic. Yeah. I mean, first They're of all. They're some of the cutest kids and they are so funny. So funny. They write really good stuff yeah. for these kids. Yeah. But even when they write good things for kids, you know that there will be kids that are like smack face. Yeah. That are just like, that's not what she said. Yeah. You know, and it's yeah. like, all right, don't, don't listen to your mother. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Whoever coached you, get yeah. fired. Yeah. But, but we don't get a lot of that because that's not who Quinta picks. Yeah. She's, she's brilliant and our casting people are great at getting people that are, first of all, she went and found a lot of the talent not Quinta personally, but like the the talent um, team. And then she w- would review them and give them the speaking roles. And, you know, kids who never had an acting job ever in their life because there weren't that many black kid actors. Right. So they went to Compton mm-hmm. and they found kids. Yeah. And then they the ones that are good, you know, get to come back and, and do more stuff. And she finds new kids and they do it. And they're great. I mean, yeah. there was this one kid. I mean... All of them are great, and they're absolutely adorable, and they think that we're their teachers yeah, yeah. for the most part. I mean, now they're kind of season two. They're sort of hip to it, yeah, yeah. but they still come up with their work because we give them real worksheets, and they'll come up and be like, um, Ms. Shimenti, um, I couldn't get this one. And so I'm sitting there correcting papers. Yeah, yeah. And, and like, you're like, get out of my face. <laughs> I'm not a teacher. No, I don't. My mother was a teacher. She yeah. was a D.C. public school and that, teacher, I mean, that and is I, so I actually cu- love it. so cute. It. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, no, that's I don't know how to teach new math because I think <laughs> no. that's... No, we started to, we started teaching also, math they, differently. I don't know why that happened. They happens. also just cut out all the extra hard math classes in general because they lied to us when they said we were going to need it. You in don't life need it. Yeah. You don't no, need it. You have a phone. And also you have a phone. You have a calculator. Like, yeah. You're not going to have a calculator later in life. You're not going to have something by your... Turns we out. We have yeah. everything. Yeah, you do. We have everything yeah. we could possibly need. Yeah, unless you want to be like, you know, a physicist. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And even they have their phones. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they could just Google it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You don't need any of that crap. Yeah. What was the process of you getting on this show? Auditioning. Yeah. I auditioned and uh, they sent me the script first to read, as they always do. And I read it and I went, oh, this is my job. This is me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like who else in this town is playing a Sicilian school teacher. Yeah. I'm like, I dare yeah. anybody <laughs> to be better, to be than better me. at this. Because yeah. I know who I audition against. And yeah. I know, like, in my age range, who's out there and that's on the level where Name they would em. consider <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nah, I don't want to do that. Because, like, I know who probably went out for the role. Right. And, and I think also Quint had some people in mind. And I was one of the people, when we talk about comfort movies, she watched... Um, Oddly enough, not the parent trap. She watched Bruce Almighty. Bruce Almighty, yeah. That was her comfort movie. And so she liked me a lot. Yeah. And so when I auditioned, I so owned it. I, I I really, I worked actually with my best friend who was Meredith in The Parent Trap, uh, Elaine Hendricks. I worked with her a little bit. And then she read with me for the audition. And when I, uh, when I read the script, I laughed and I cried. And I went, I'm really glad that they that this is getting made because they make a lot of crap. Yeah. And mm-hmm. they pick something decent. And when we did the read, I knew that I, I killed it. I knew I hit it out of the park. But I also, it was like before we started shooting and I was talking to her before the scene started. And I was saying just that. I'm like, 
damn, they make some shit. But this, whoever green light, yeah, this because it's this was, it's and they and we left that in when we yeah. sent it in. We yeah. left that piece yeah, yeah, in, yeah. and I guess they liked it. So, yeah, yeah, smart. They told me after the fact that as soon as we saw ten seconds of it, we were like, but this is it. That's yeah. It. Yeah, I mean, it's genuinely funny is the thing, because I feel like with a lot of sometimes, especially the last like 10 years with network sitcoms, they've kind of Eh, you're yeah, just, some you're, of them are tough. It's a little it's, cringy sometimes. I can't watch any of that. And yeah. so when I I'm, wouldn't want to be listen, I would be happy in any case. Yeah, raising four kids in an expensive city like Los Angeles right. to have 22 episodes of Network Money a week. Now, I'm not going to say that because I've turned down plenty of work. Right. Mm-hmm. Because to me, money is great when you land it. Yeah. But I also have been poor and I've struggled in between jobs and I create my own stuff. If yeah. I'm not getting booking a job, I'm making something. Yeah. So I know what I know how to eat poor for a no. couple of years. Well, that's, but that's why to this be show, on a show yeah. that is yeah. this good, that's actually funny, yeah. that's not like, and here's the message. Yeah. Damn fist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's just funny. It's just, it I'm is not embarrassed totally. by it. No, it's mm-hmm. totally, it, it exactly like that's, when I feel like it first started, people were really like, no guys, I swear. I did, it's right. funny. Like you did, <laughs> you know what? And, and, and then you sat down and watched and you were like, yes, this is so, I watched the first season in like three days. I was oh, like, this is you. amazing. Black Twitter was hip to it first. <laughs> Black Twitter was like really on it. So when I went, people said, like, when did you know it was a hit? And like, well, when we shot the pilot, yeah. I knew what the chemistry was. And I'm like, something really awful would have to happen for this not to work. Yeah. Yeah. I said to Quinta, if only teachers watch it, we're a monster hit. Right, but right. But then people in the first episode, I started reading on Twitter what was going down. On Twitter. And I was like, <laughs> oh, oh, this is going to be big. Yeah. yeah. And then... All, uh, black Twitter first, then all the rest of Twitter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you guys have been celebrated so much now within you know yeah, the I industry, all the award we're shows now, and everything. But no, it's so fun to watch you guys all together. You're so Thank you're you. so excited, and we you, are. We you're are. you're up on stage. You guys won. I want you to talk me through when you guys were up on stage. I think it's SAG, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and you're all looking down, and you're and Quinta's like. There you, there you are, Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was Golden Globes. Golden Globes. Golden yeah. Globes. Oh, Golden Globes, Golden yeah. Globes because, because Janelle like thought he was hot. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah. she was like, Brad Pitt's here. But she didn't see him. And I was like, it's there. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's right she, in front of us. And then Quinta goes, oh, hey, how you doing, Brad Pitt? Yeah. And, yeah. and it was just charming, I guess. Mm-hmm. But then it happened again at the SAG Awards because we were. I'm a huge fan of Kate Blanchett. Yeah. And it happened to be the season because she was nominated for Tar. Yeah. Every single party I went to, Kate Blanchett was there. And I never do this because I just don't have the nerve. Yeah. But I don't go up to people and, and like fangirl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But with her, I did. I'm, I'm she was standing warranted. with Bill Nye. You know what <laughs> yes. I'm talking yeah, yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Not yes. the science guy. Not the science no, guy. No. Bill yes. Nye. Yeah, he was from, nominated a bunch this season. Right. Love Actually. <laughs> from, from Love Actually. <laughs> Hey, right, that guy. He always does something weird with his fingers. Do you ever notice? No. In his no. characters. Look at him next time you see him in okay. Love Actually. He's always doing this with his fingers. He's like subtly He's flipping so everyone yeah. off. I feel it in my, my fingers. fingers. <laughs> I feel it in my toes. He's doing this. For real. But anyway, he's brilliant. And they were standing together at some party. And I was like, hi, I'm Lee Sam Walter. I'm in a show in America called <laughs> Abbott Elementary. And I'm such a fan of both of yours. I was an idiot. <laughs> and and then she that? was like, oh, they were, he knew who I was. She had no idea, but she learned. <laughs> and then yeah. by the end of award season, she's like coming over to our table and is like, oh, Quinta, Quinta. Yeah. <laughs> and then she would like sit on her lap and, and oh like my hang God, out. A dream. So at SAG after, I was like, Kate Blanchett's yeah. right there. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. awesome. It's crazy. That is so cool. Yeah. You're going to get Kate Cl- Blanchett telling all, everyone to watch Abbott Elementary. You know what? Is- all right. Exactly. Well, uh, that's the, a good endorsement. You know, when people that you love, I have to say this because I'm, I'm still in a place where it's, it's meaningful, right? But when people that you really love stop you and are like, oh my God, I'm such a fan. I'm such a fan of you on your show and my kid watches with you. Elizabeth Banks did yeah. that. Phoebe Waller-Bridge who would like yeah. the flea bag. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. <gasps> yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm just blown away. It really? is amazing. Well, that's awesome. Uh, Luckiest little actress little in bit. the world. What? I'm getting the. I'm getting oh, the. Shoot. Wrap it up. I know. You which talk too much, lady. We always talk. To, we uh, we all Listen, talk. We can too talk much. to you for hours. We're having yeah. so much fun. The last thing I do want to ask you quickly is: you mentioned 25 <laughs> years almost for Parent Trap. Yeah. Are you, you, are you guys going to do something? You know special? what? Don't you think we should? I think yes. you should. I mean, Elaine and I, my bestie, my BFF, Bride or Die, Elaine Hendricks. 
we I love seeing all you guys. You bring her. Like, she went been with me to the yeah, SAG yeah, Awards. Yeah. Did you see the pictures? Yes, it was incredible. I, I said, will yeah. you be my date to the SAG Awards? And she showed up with a tux. Yeah, she looked incredible. <laughs> and she looked yeah. incredible. She looked yeah. hot. Yeah. She looked like Dietrich. Yes. She was <laughs> yes. so sexy. But um, helping with, again, with our lesbian fan base. Yes. Yeah. Was <laughs> awesome. Yep. I was like, yes. that's right. Um, but anyway, uh, we did something for the 20th because they didn't do anything. Yeah. They didn't, Disney wasn't doing anything. So we did like a watch party. She was in her place in New York. She was in New York at the time. She's in, she lives in um, Georgia now. But I was in LA and we were on like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram all at the same time yeah. watching with fans. And I'm hoping for the 25th we do something. I think we should. I think you guys right, should fans? too. I think we should. I, I think, think you so. should too. And I feel like Lindsay's in a great place. Yeah, she is. I, I text with her that. all the yeah. time. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I text with her. She's, and she's having a baby. Baby pregnant, and, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and she's back, you know, in Hollywood and working. Yeah, and exactly. Doing great. It seems like exactly. all is well. There. All exactly. is well yeah. with everybody. That's amazing. Well, we're so happy if, to hear that, and we love Thank Abbott you. Elementary. Everyone Thank can watch you. on Wednesdays ABC. You can stream on Hulu as well if you, you know. Yeah, we got the alive. season finale exactly. coming up in uh, next week. Amazing. I, I, the whole season's been great. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for coming yes, in. Thank it's you my so pleasure. Much. You guys are delightful. Ciao, ciao, bed. Yeah. <laughs>